Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I hope you read it well. So I am currently at the yeah. hotel of the most beautiful hotel for the Elizabeth Arden Christmas launch of their new fragrances, some of their makeup pieces, their coffee kits and everything as well. So I'm currently in the bathroom of the hotel and we're just looking at some of the products and I'm going to go through and show you them. And I'm with my beautiful girl in the corner, there's Sue Lee, there she is. So we're currently looking at some of the most amazing lip colours and the eyeshadow quads that are coming out for Christmas. And we are slightly in love with these two here. And this is like a lilac gold. And this is kind of a sheer when it's on but it's got that gold reflect. So you could obviously wear them alone but putting them over the top of something else as well. And now I feel a bit silly fucking when I'm in the bathroom. So um, they've got like a lovely coat on the mirror and it's just, should be beautiful in the brightness of every woman. And that's quite a little bit of the coat as well. So the bathroom as you can see. There's a lovely lady over here doing makeup um, overs and bits and pieces and then through into the other side. Oh don't worry, it's mind me, I'm just talking to myself, it's fine. <laughs> so we're going through and then there's the makeup here, so this is all the Elizabeth Arden makeup and everything. We leave our bags on the floor and come back to them. <laughs> Um, and so we're in the um, the teenagers' room. So we've been told by Elizabeth Arden to look after aspects of some celebrity fragrances as well. So the celebrity fragrances they look after are Britney. Uh, she also looks after Nicki uh, Minaj and Justin Bieber. That's really bad lighting. There we go. Let's try that. So we were just looking at the different lighting effects that um, the companies do as well, and also Juicy Couture as well. And um, I think a lot of you know I went to the watches launch of Juicy Couture with MGX, and they're really really beautiful. But so actually, one of the watches is down here. So so that's really, really cool. So Sue and, I, um, Sue and I have been looking at the fragrances, trying them out. Some of them are good, some of them are hits and misses. What are we thinking, Sue, on the hits and the misses? Is there anything you really liked? Um, I really like some of the men's ones, but actually for women. Mm -hmm. Some of them are really nice, they've got a really fresh tone to them, and once they settle down, they've got a little bit of muskiness, but not too much. I think we can get away with it, ladies. I think so, it's really sexy. And what about the celebrity fragrances? Is there any there that you uh, thought, ooh, that's, that's okay, I, I could wear that, I well, suppose. <laughs> I wasn't too crazy about mm -hmm. the new Nicki Minaj. Yeah, no, that's quite... I, it's we, very yeah. fruity, and if I was a 10-year-old girl, yeah. then absolutely I think that's great, but um, a bit later on, it's not really for me. Yeah, I think so. It's kind of got that demographic of the teen market, and um, I think so with Attitude, the fragrance, you know, the body sprays, it's kind of got that sort of vibe to it. So I think for the right market, it's perfect. But actually, I was really into the Juicy Couture bottles. I think they're beautiful. And one of the fragrances with their original fragrance, but the, the new equivalent of it, really, really tasty. I really like that. And um, also, we've looked at the eight hour cream. So I'm going to go through and show you all the other room in a bit. And then we'll catch up with, oh, the lighting. Okay, catch up at the other events later on. So lots of love. Bye. Bye.